Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Noxer. Welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. Today's video, we're going to be playing a solo match. Walking you guys through everything that I do to help you guys possibly take some tips from me. Maybe some different strategies you could use. I don't know. But we're going to be doing an example gameplay. Just walking you through my every move, why I do stuff. But yeah, let's do it. This is my first game of the day, by the way. So my shot might be a little off. First things first, if you are trying to win if you've never won before whatever the reason i would definitely recommend not landing in the center areas like retail salty tilted pleasant even maybe greasy so the reason i would definitely not land there is just because there's so many people you're most likely going to get pinched from multiple sides at once you're going to have a lot of action right off the bat at least for me whenever i was first getting started out I like to have a good loadout and then I like to get into fights. Now on the other hand, if you have only played a few matches, you're very inexperienced, I would recommend landing somewhere where you are going to get a little action off the bat. So the reason I say that is if you're a new player, the only way to get better is practicing and it's not going to help you to loot up and then end up losing uh, your gunfight before you even get to use your good loadout. So if you are confident that you can win a couple of gunfights, I would definitely recommend this strategy. But if you can't, I would recommend just landing somewhere with a little bit of action. Not too much, not like tilted, but maybe greasy, shifty. Places that you're going to get a decent amount of people, but not like a crazy amount right off the bat. But once you are confident that you can win a few gunfights, then you can land somewhere like lonely, moisty... Even up here, there's always random houses, like here's some, here's some, over here's a few. There's just random huts and houses all over the place, which would definitely be where you're going to want to go. So the next thing, make sure you have plenty of building materials. That is the most annoying and probably one of the most common ways a lot of good players die. So if you're thinking like I only need like a hundred... Let's take this guy out, and then I'll continue what I was saying. Found his location. Gonna build. Get that high ground right away. Build some walls so you can't just shoot it out. I never want to let him get high ground. So I want to shoot out whatever he's building. If he's standing still, you can easily line up a headshot. And then just slide up. One strategy is if you crouch... And then you, like, if you crouch pretty close to the top, and then use the first shot accuracy, and then uncrouch, you can hit those headshots with, like that right there. They did take it out of the game, so if you are right here, and you do let it get first shot accuracy, if you do uncrouch, it does take away your first shot accuracy, but you can at least, like, line up the shot where you want it, and then... It'll still be... Your reticle will still be in the same place. So what I was saying is, make sure you always have... A lot of extra building materials. And if you're thinking like you don't need too much because you don't build that much. So you don't want to overbuild and just waste a ton of materials. On the other hand, building is the most important part of this game. If someone has like a mini gun, LMG, rockets, anything like that. If you don't have over 250 building materials, you're instantly dead. And taking the high ground from players, just letting them build above you. It's such a bad idea because they have such a better shot down on you. So if you're not very good at building or you don't do too much, I would definitely practice that a lot. Watch some of the better players, some of the better streamers. Watch what they do in certain situations with their building. And just go to places like Whaling or Moisty and just mine up a couple hundred wood and just practice different builds. Like one by ones, just one by one bases. Those are very important. And with the new playground mode that should come out tomorrow, depending on when this video is out. You're going to be able to practice a lot more, so I definitely take advantage of that. So right now, I'm in a really bad spot. So what I'm going to do is place that wall. As you can see, that allows me to double ramp rush so that he can't get a shot at me. Turn, place a wall, and I'm above him is a risky play because I could very easily get shot out. That's why I'm going back towards the 
original building. I'm not sure if that shot registered, but now I know he's in here. Gonna put some pressure. He's building out to the side. All right. Keep the height advantage. I don't know where that shot went. I kind of hit my wall, but always build above your opponent. All right. So he's in that box right there. I see him. Don't let him shield. And if you are, if you are gonna break their box, like I just did right there. As you could tell, I lined up the headshot before I started shooting it out. So if, so if he did give me enough time to get my bullets through his wall, it would automatically hit the headshot. So if you're ever going to build up to someone like that or ramp out to the side in the middle of a build battle, always double ramp like that so that they can't shoot the top. Or so that they can't just shoot down on you. Okay, this guy just got sniped. So I'm just slowly moving in, trying to get an angle. Always run and jump, obviously, so you don't get sniped like he just did. So we're going to start ramping up here. So that even if he does turn to ramp over me, it's already too late. Because I'm going to be way above him. And I I meant to place that a little... I meant to place that ramp a little farther back, but... Still worked. Once again, using the double ramp rush strategy. Making sure your walls are always covered. Making sure he can't get any cheap shots. Once again. It's a really annoying situation. So I'm going to rush him. Even though it's not the greatest play as you can tell. But there's multiple snipers. So what am I going to... I'm going to place a trap there. Now he can't really be too aggressive unless he does it from one of these sides. But there's nothing there. Oh, I could have edited a hole. See, that was a good play on his part. Alright. I think he got hit by one of them. Once so again, just constantly making sure. I have walls on all sides that I could be shot from. Now, I don't have too much material, so I'm going to be a little aggressive here. So while I was on low health, I placed traps, which slowed him down a lot because he had to jump down, go over to the side, and try and work his way in that way. Okay. He's above me. So watch. Double wall ramp. Okay, if he gets it like this, I'm sure I'll slow this down. But... Okay, this is a bad spot. What the heck? Did okay, apparently I used all my traps and I'm stuck. This is so stupid. Most people rush to the storm immediately. It's not necessary. Alright, so this, this play right here. It's a strategy that I use all the time. Whenever you are ramp rushing against each other and you meet, what you want to do is place a wall there and a wall above it so that you can ramp right in that direction over them. So you want to place this ramp here. And then if they're still trying to go up, place another one in front of it so that you have them completely blocked off and, and you're always going to be above them. Now he did block me. He did get up there before I did, so what I'm going to do is jump and place a floor piece and then staircase out to the side. Now, what I tried to do was turn around and do the same type of move on him, but but he placed a wall there and blocked me off. So, what you want to do, so what you want to do in this situation is place a floor piece and then from here... You can build out in any direction. So one play you could actually do is place a floor piece above you like that. And then place one through that. And then you can double ramp rush out to the side. And then turn on them like that.
But the play I was trying to do is place your staircase here, and then you're at the same level as your opponent. You can do that play. Just wall, wall, and staircase, and you're up over your opponent. You can keep going up if you want, do whatever you want. Shoot down on them. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a really good counter for that. So say I just built over my opponent, and they place a floor piece, and they're about to ramp out to the side. Okay, here comes the storm. We gotta do this quick. What he did was place a wall here. If he would have quickly... Then I'm trapped myself in a little box right there. If he quickly places walls all around. And what you can easily do is place a trap here. Place a trap here. And it will go through the staircase. And kill the person underneath. If you're in a fight like this. And I just run to the storm right now. Yeah, I might not take as much storm damage. But he's going to be waiting for me. Behind me, which would not be a good decision. See right there, I healed up, got ready for the fight. And then I went into the circle. So I'm not saying, like, stay in the storm. But if you're in a fight and the circle's coming, don't just all of a sudden think you have to immediately get out of there before it even touches you. Because... Because unless it's very end of the game, or you have very little health, it's not going to instant kill you. Always make sure you're taking advantage of third person. Like, I can look around with even without even making myself visible. Like, in this position, no one would be able to shoot me. Maybe if they have a really high height advantage, like up there. But no one can really see me, but I can see stuff. Then I know where people are. I can miss my shot like that. Once again, always making sure you got the height advantage. Don't let him get any cheap shots on you. And he's lost in the storm. Really bad spot. We don't have too much materials. I mean, we gotta get over there. By materials, I mainly mean wood. Because if you don't know for, like, rushing and stuff, and whenever people are going to be shooting your walls, once again, always checking my surroundings. I see a guy up there trying to always figure out everyone's location, especially endgame. But anytime someone's shooting out your walls, wood has the most durability right when it's placed. So if someone's going to be spamming your walls, you have most... Highest chance of survival with wooden walls. So we're gonna see if we can sneak some rockets up there. I don't think it's high enough. Oh, wait. It's the last two. Yeah, we're gonna get an angle. Okay. Last guy. Just making sure I'm not out in the open. Trying to figure out his position. What the heck? My auto, like, aim is my aim assist right there. That was really weird. My, I don't know what I was trying to say. My aim assist, like, pulled upwards off of him? I don't know. Maybe it was just bad aim because that was my first game of the day. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. If this did help you out or you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.